Hi, Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising and Taurus Moon. Welcome to your Tarot Video Scope for December 2018 by AMA. Happy Holiday Season, Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year. Please remember to listen for your rising sign and for your moon sign because these signs, sun sign, rising sign and moon sign are as equally as important and they always have information for you. Always remember that these are general readings. If you like to have your very own private consultation, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com or do visit my website www.amalightworker.com. If you like to know more, I have already uploaded a whole new video, a whole new reading for you, for your sign. It is an Akashic reading with more guidance, messages and predictions for you. For those of you who are interested for download and purchase, the link is posted down here below in the show more description box. And of course, you're going to find in the show more description box listed down here below also. Uh, my contact information and other useful links. If you are curious to know how to participate in my 12 weeks VIP coaching program, please do email me at amalightworker@gmail.com to find out more about it. For this reading today, I'm going to open three cards from the regular tarot deck and one more additional card from the angels tarot deck. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, a welcome back. If you are new, welcome to you. Please remember to turn on the bell notification uh, bar and set your preference to be notified every time that there is activity on this channel. This way you will be notified when I upload new videos and when I do live streaming and stay tuned because there's going to be other live streamings coming uh, during the month of uh, December. I will um, tune in first, get the general feeling, and then I would break it down one by one. I will tell you the meaning of the card first, and then I will tune in psychically to hear what is uh, the message behind the card. The general feelings that I am picking up for you, Taurus, have to deal with relationships, partnerships, people or help coming together for you. Positively moving forward, having a good time with family, friends and loved ones, reunions, celebrations. For some of you, some opportunities may show up to generate more um, um, money or definitely opportunities for you to resolve financial uh, matters. There is a certain sense that something is coming to a closure or to an ending more so it feels like a period where you had to struggle or where you felt like things were kind of on and off or you really had to push forward two steps and then move backwards one step so it feels like the end of that kind of energy the first card that you have is the two of wands to me it means starting to build the foundation as to where do you want to go from here it also means a struggle of choices for its own sake commerce negotiations trades people coming together to help sometimes it to me it also means partnerships or collaborations now allow me to tune in so i can hear psychically why is it that this card showed up for you for some of you, you're going to have the feeling like the world is at your feet. You're going to feel like you are conquering something of importance. For some of you, it could be about you conquering your own fear. You're going to have 
some kind of um, arrangement in regards to a relationship that you are in or in regards to a marriage that you are in. For a lot of you, it's going to be some kind of a emotional renewal, the sense of a renewal happening either in this marriage or in this relationship. You may decide to change a little bit or spice up your life you may decide to spice up your uh, and to have more romance in your life. Some of you could be thinking about a possible trade. This trade may not necessarily happen during December, but you could be thinking about it. You may be planning uh, about it. There's going to be some sort of a collaboration or a trade that is going to happen between one department and another department. This could be happening in the place of work. There could be collaborations, negotiations, meetings between one company that maybe you work for and another company. Some of you are going to deal with representatives. You may be chosen to be the representative you may be dealing with other people who are assigned to be the representative. And of course, this is going to happen in different ways. For some of you, when they say representative, it doesn't necessarily has to be related to work or to your profession. It is about a family environment, a family situation. Uh, it's like you're representing your family or your marriage or as a couple. So there's going to be different representatives uh, representing either different companies or different families or different people. Something is coming together for you. You're going to narrow down some kind of a direction. Where is it that you would like to go either with this relationship or with this marriage? For some of you, this path where this relationship or this marriage needs to go is going to be crisp, clear to you. Other ones are going to uh, resort to other forms of help. You may be tuning in into your own intuition and listen to what your intuition has to say, which direction to go. You may consult in with a psychologist. You may consult with a spiritual uh, advisor. There is the promise of something to happen. It feels like it could be related to work or to finances or investments. You could be hearing news about it. Somebody may be mentioning something to you. But again, they're going to present it in a way that it, it's not like you have to act quick uh, to have a quick gain. They're going to mention to you maybe there is a chance sometime in the near future for us to collaborate together or for you to get a promotion or to join our forces together so we can generate money together or in regards to uh, investments. A lot of you are going to be communicating a lot either with friends Family, you're going to be uh, communicating back and forth with uh, people. You could be communicating a lot with people who live at a distance from you. Maybe you're trying to put together some kind of an event or a get together or some kind of celebration and you could be communicating with a lot of people to make this happen. There's going to be some kind of a gathering or an event. This could be a formal or a non-formal event when you're going to feel at the center of attention. The next card that you have is the chariot. It is another great card. The chariot, it means positively moving forward, victory, overcoming obstacles. It also means re-evaluation, re-introspection, uh, decisions of passion, and having to make some decisions over confusing issues, over confusing matters. 
Sometimes it also means reassess your situation, re-examine your affairs. For some of you, immediately I keep hearing that this is in regards to a car. It's in regards to car rentals, uh, arrangements around a car, or striking. You could be negotiating the price to a car. You may be negotiating the price to car repairments. Maybe somebody is going to be open to negotiate the price. Uh, if you need some, if your car needs repairing or uh, fixing, you're going to feel in charge in some ways. You're going to be put in charge. The family may be putting you in charge to organize some kind of a gathering, celebration. It is holiday season. After all, a manager or a boss may be putting you in charge of a uh, project. You may be putting yourself in charge in some ways. You're going to feel like you need to make up for time lost. You're going to have some issues around time. You may be thinking how fast time is going. You may be thinking how slow time is going. You may be having other issues that are important around timing. Some of you are going to examine the costs of something. You're going to examine what's more expensive, what's cheaper. You're going to examine what's the most cost efficient way for you to achieve or to accomplish something. Some of you may be, um, you could be staying over somebody's house for the holiday, going to visit. You may be the one uh, preparing to host guests. For some of you, there is a lot of activity because I keep getting people in and out from one home, going to another home, and then traveling back and forth between two homes. You need to pay attention to your ideas. Some of you Torians are going to have brilliant ideas in this month of December. You have been overthinking a little bit too much when it comes to a decision that has to deal with romance, love, and now suddenly you are going to gain a better focus, a better clarity. These ideas are going to help you a lot to narrow down this decision, but also you're going to feel very convicted about something, or you could be very convincing about something to convince other people about your ideas. In some ways, you're going to be, again, I keep getting, you're going to be at the center of attention. You may be in some kind of event or a gathering. You may have to make a speech. You may have to address an important issue. You may have to do an important presentation. For some of you, you may have to attend some kind of an uh, audition. You are going to be hearing at this time of other people talking good on your behalf and maybe other people have been trying to help you uh, or to do something on your behalf without you knowing. So all of these things that have been going on behind the scenes without you knowing how people were trying to come together or to help you with something, now you will know about it. For some of you, you are going to land some kind of a deal uh, and you're going to feel like a huge relief to uh, you. The next card is the Ten of Cups. It is the card of stability of home lives, happiness, having a good time with family, friends, and loved ones, reunion, and celebration. Some of you either just celebrated a new home or you are about to celebrate um, this holiday season uh, in a new home. 
I also keep hearing that if there were some kind of a home repair, home remodeling construction going on, finally is going to be completed because many of you are either celebrating on your home or maybe you made some changes and now a whole new area of your ho home opened uh, up. Children are surely going to give you a lot to think about. Whether you have children of your own, you may be thinking about children, but there's also a certain feeling of excitement, harmony, and joy. You being around children, this could be your own children, this could be your own grandchildren, or just in general being around children. Some of you could be celebrating some kind of a victory in regards to an inheritance, something that has to deal with a mortgage. Some of you are going to find yourself, um, if you recently started a business, or maybe you started a business years ago, now you are initiating that energy when you feel that this business is a lot more stable. There is a certain sense that you are on the verge of a better financial security when things happen consistent uh, 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 where money is consistent victory is consistent but they're also telling me that a lot of you need to be very consistent with anything that you desire to accomplish if it is the stability of home lives that you like to accomplish you have to work at it and but you have to be consistent if it is having a better relationship that you are after again you have to work at it but at the same time you have to be consistent so whatever goal you have health goals new year's goals financial goals you have to be consistent uh with it a couple will be celebrated this could be you as a couple if you already are in a couple you may witness a couple being honored or celebrated in other ways for some reason they are also talking about spring 2019 so it could be around march april and may that something of importance that could be related to this december 2019 will be completing transpiring or for some reason they are linked and they are connected together and the energy that my guides are sending me seems very uplifting so do mark this video to listen to it again there's some kind of connection between december 2018 and spring 2019 please try not to drink your sorrows away Clearly, this message is not for everybody, but some of you Torians may have a tendency to drink your sorrows away or to drink a little bit too much during this holiday uh, season. Some of you are going to be near water. You may be at the spa, you may be at the steam room, you may go at a Turkish bath, I don't know, Swedish uh bath steam room uh you may be traveling by uh, water you could be leaving by uh water i keep getting you being around an area with uh water i keep getting the impression of some kind of a cottage an old cabin or a country side home that some of you may end up driving by there, visiting, or there could be an invitation for you to join somebody in some kind of a holiday celebration in this cottage or in this uh, cabin. Canada is coming up in this reading, so for some of you there's some communication with Canada or traveling back and forth with Canada or some other conversation that seems to be focused on Canada, that seems to be important for some of uh, you. Let me know if this is making sense to you. Always understand, this is a general reading. And that information when Canada showed up seemed to be very particular about at least one of my uh, viewers. The next card that you have is the Six of Pentacles. So this is the card. 
I will read the cards to you first and then I will tune in to hear what are the messages behind this card. Six of Earth. So Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be a card directly representing you because this is a reading for Taurus. Gifts of money, time or efforts, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off a debt. Your efforts are going to be uh, rewarding in the sense that whatever efforts you are putting in, you are getting out of it. Whatever love or emotions you are investing in, you are um, getting that back. There is a sense that a sense of fairness, a sense of justice. For some of you, you're going to notice that it could really happen through the legal system, the judicial system, the courts. For other ones, you're going to see that happening around you, where a certain sense of fairness, justice, and even peace may be taking uh, place. When it comes to a family-related situation, you're going to notice a certain sense of stability. This could be about your own household. This could be in regards to uh, the, um, uh, the home of your parents. This could be in regards to um, uh, the family of one of your siblings. So there is a family situation around you and you're going to see, you're going to witness the situation getting a little bit easier or a little bit better. Most of the career opportunities are going to show up for you next year. However, many of you have already accomplished a lot in your career. It's important that you understand that in December, you should not worry too much about money or focus too much on work, work, work. You need to allow yourself to have some time to have fun and joy during this holiday season. Many of you could be flying because this is what is being indicated to me. They uh, draw my attention to the little wings on the ferry. So flying. It's going to be important. There's going to, or there's going to be important uh, trips for many of you Torians. Something that you already did in the past, either an old investment, maybe you invested in a home, fl uh, flipping a home. Uh, maybe you invested in your education. Maybe you invested in your child's education. Now it will start to pay off. I know that the message said receiving a loan or paying off debts, but what I keep hearing right now is if anyone owes you money, you are now going to start to get some of this money back. Not necessarily all the money at once. Maybe they're going to give you the debt in small uh, increments, but some of you, for some of you, somebody whoever owed you money or maybe some payments were late, now you are going to start to receive these payments. Some of you are going to be asking for a loan to finance a project, to finance an idea, or to finance a business. If this is the case and this is you, you need to examine both sides, the positive and the negative, because this may not necessarily be a great idea about, um, uh, about everybody. So asking for a loan from a bank, other Torians may be asking family, relatives and friends to borrow money from them. And you just need to be careful uh, with it because for some of you again you may need to have a private reading but there is some confusing matters over over this whether is this idea or this or is this business worth uh, borrowing money for putting yourself in debt some of you may be getting something back either from irs you may be getting something back that maybe you overpaid for it. You could be returning merchandise or gifts and getting money uh, back. And I also keep getting an image of, uh, of a new watch. You may be receiving a watch as a gift. You may be gifting a watch. 
important events are going to happen. Pay attention to the timing. Pay attention to synchronicities. Pay attention to those coincidences. Running at them, uh, being at the right place, saying the right thing, uh, running, um, uh, running into the right people. Pay attention to these synchronistic events because these are orchestrated by the universe. There is a reason why some of you kept having some struggles you struggled with some kind of situation on and off where you felt that you really wanted to push through but it wasn't the right time you had to slow down now something is happening it feels like for a long time you have been trying to make this happen whatever this is and now suddenly the timing all comes together for you the advice is don't push against time don't push against energy uh, if you feel tired, slow down. Um, so work with the energy. Take it one day at a time. Some of you, for some reason, you may be asked to babysit or you may be spending a little bit more time with a uh, child who needs care, love, and uh, attention. And some of you are already now in December, you may be planning for a future a vacation to uh, happen. So open your heart. You're going to find some solution or a plan around for you to deal with a financial situation. But generally speaking, the channel for you to receive more money, to be better with managing money, is opening up and more financial rewards are about to come again even in 2019 this is only the beginning of this energy and some of you are going to have very strong indicators that your finances are getting a boost or your finances are turning around for the better spirit may be giving you directly a message pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your uh intuition for some reason i i also keep getting some of you may be interested in uh learning about spiritual and metaphysical phenomena getting a service getting a uh um, a reading there's going to be for some of you some kind of a spiritual uh initiation you could be training or with energy or other forms of spiritual uh, initiations. So for a lot of you, it's going to be a very energetic, liberating uh, month or even part of this spiritual initiation. And you are. this is just the first step. step. This is just the first month when you are going to notice a new sense of balance in you and around you. I hope that this is making sense to you. Please do contact me for a private reading. I'm a lightworker at gmail.com. If you'd like to know more, click in the link down here below. And that's going to take you to the Vimeo videos. Uh, it, it is a whole new reading, an Akashic reading, for those of you who are interested for download and purchase. Do visit my website, www.amalightworker.com, if you'd like to know more. Email me if you'd like to know how to participate in my 12 weeks coaching program at amalightworker at gmail.com. Happy New Year again. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday season. I will connect with you again in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.